company. So uh, how to give awesome presentations like Steve Jobs. This is such an important topic. I have been doing this topic multiple number of times so that people could understand, people can understand of what is the importance of this particular man in the entire presentation, uh, you know, the scheme of things because this man is the best presenter in the world one is one of the best in the corporate world has seen in the last few uh, decades so this man has given awesome presentations multiples of them and because of his presentation so many products used to get sold on on one singular presentation of his so you know the first thing that he talks about in his entire presentation so many books have been written about the kind of presentations which steve jobs used to make the first of the important criteria that steve jobs used to have was to give a clear and concise headline your headline should be as attractive you know it should be readable it should be tweetable you can tweet that particular headline it should be that interesting just look at this particular headline that steve uses in this particular presentation your entire life in your pocket your life in your pocket you know this entire headline is so tweetable anybody would feel like tweeting this entire particular uh, headline that is the kind of uh, hook that you should be having on your audience if your audience is not hooked to your to your headline they will not be staying till the last page of your particular presentation so it's very very important you hook the audience by your headline that is uh, not the, the thing number one the point number one the most important point number one the second thing what he talked about was don't share a ppt you know, don't share a PPT. What he used to tell is tell a story. It's very, very important because he was there. He always asked people to share, to sell dreams and not products. You know, because products don't sell. You have to sell a dream. Your customers dream of a happier and a better life. Don't move your products. Enrich their lives. If you enrich the customers' lives, they will automatically go and buy your products. So it's not just about sharing a PPT. You have to tell a story and that story should be as interesting as is possible because only when it will be interesting, people will be willing to share that story or people will be willing to listen to your perspective on that because if you are changing the lives of people, then they are going to listen to you. Otherwise, what is there for them inside of that? Now, the third point that he always used to do was he used to tell stunning stories. It's very, very important. See, we are human beings and multiple number of times I've told you that human beings have a brain which is, you know, 90% visual. So if you, if I tell something to you in the form of a story that will stick with you more compared to any other form of communication. So it's always important that in your entire presentation of maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever the duration is, include at least one or two stories one or two anecdotes from your life of what exactly happened. Look at this particular anecdote that, you know, a stunning story that Steve Jobs shared in one of his presentations. He was writing that uh, he received an email from a Steve Jobs, you no know, email from one of the uh, customers that when the customer was sitting in a cafe with his iPad, he got a girl, a girl, girl, girl got interested in him. And that, that's what he calls a magical device. So this was such a stunning story. And if whenever somebody would listen to such kind of a story, they would they would laugh, they would enjoy, they would burst into laughters, they would feel an emotion about the entire product. So it's about sharing a story. Your stories will be shared by people. Your statistics, people will forget. Your numbers, people will forget. Your presentation, people will forget. But they will not forget these kind of stories which you punch inside your presentations. Very, very important. Then next, what he used to say was, if you have some numbers to share, if you have some statistics to share, don't just you know share that particular number in the form of a number. Show it visually, as visual as is possible. Share the number in the form of a visual, in the form of a pie chart, in the form of a number that it becomes very, very easy to comprehend. You have to understand, you have to keep in mind that you should not make your presentation very difficult for people who are listening to your conversation. You have to make it as simple as is possible for the audience. When you make it as simple as is possible, you would become the hero of the entire presentation because then your audience will carry the message. See, what? why do, Why are you doing the entire presentation? Because you want that the audience carries that important message that you are trying to give. So always convert these numbers into form of a visual presentation. That is very, very important. Now, always Steve Jobs, uh, Steve Jobs used to have, you know, big 
bold images, you know, big and bold images, but not more than two. Only in one of his presentations, he gave uh, more than two images. So he used to keep his entire presentation slides very, very simple, containing not more than two pictures at a time. That was very, very important because you don't want to you know, uh, give them a lot of data that they are not able to consume. You cannot give them a lot of information which the audience is not able to consume. You have to keep in mind that the audience is has come there not to get overloaded, but to learn and listen to your particular perspective. Now, uh, if you look at this presentations, continuing with this on the same lines, he used as little words as is possible. He used as little words as is possible, and majorly he used to make it visual in nature. So he used to make it as simple as possible, as little words as possible, because you don't want to overwhelm your customers, overwhelm your audience. So you always have to, whenever you're giving a presentation, don't try to be, you know, uh, don't try to show that you've done a lot of research by presenting a lot of information on your slides, because that can be overwhelming for the other person who is listening on the other side. Now, you always use the concept of three, the rule of three, because human mind is very fickle and we cannot remember more than three information at any given point of time. So always have three points that the customer, the, the audience has to take from your presentations. Those three most important points of your presentation should be presented in such a way that the customer or the audience, whoever is listening to your presentation, carries that home. You have to have the rule of three always applicable in your presentations. Don't have 10 points, don't have 20 points. Then in that case, the audience will not be carrying any point back home. It's very, very important. You keep it as minimal, as simple, as visual as is possible. Next one, he always used to show his body language in terms of his 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 smile was always there on his presentations. Whenever he was giving a presentation, he was always smiling. He was using very brilliant words, you know, amazing, extraordinary, awesome, cool, because that showed his passion. See, communication is nothing else but the transfer of your passion to your audience. So you have to be passionate. You cannot be dull and dry and dab and you are giving a presentation. You just cannot do that because in that case, the message will not pass to the audience 100 percent your message will be you know lost out in translation so it's very important you use these bold words and use your big body language you know uh, have big gestures have big hand movements uh, to show this this particular energy that you're carrying around so always have this thing in mind that your presentation should be as energetic as is possible next one is very important Trust me, what we have already told you is that human mind is visual in nature. So as long as you present you know, your, your information in the form of visuals, your, your audience is going to love you. Your audience is going to remember you. So look at this particular presentation. He started his entire presentation by telling people that, you know, uh, he, he's carrying an envelope, the bold, boring envelope. And from there, he took out the iPad, the iPad mini, and he showed it to the entire audience and people just love that particular product. So you have to demonstrate. Demonstration is very important. Why we are demonstrating? Because human mind is once again visual in nature. If, if I tell you something, you will not be able to remember it. But if I can show it to you, you will definitely remember it. So Steve Jobs was a master communicator and he understood the public psychology, the audience psychology. So you have to understand the audience psychology. And you know, he always used to when he was introducing this particular iPhone, he made a call from that particular one phone and he was showing which buttons he was using so that people could understand and take a feel of the entire thing of what was actually happening in the in the entire mobile device. Now, last but not the least, he was effortless in his rehearsing. He used to go into the back room, the green room, and used to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse for hours and hours together. For every five minute of presentations, he used to do 55 minutes of rehearsals. And that is what, that was his secret. And that is how he gave his stunning presentations in front of this world. So I hope you have learned something. There, there were some major points. I'll be sending the recording of this particular video to all of you. But there are some points which you must note down in your presentations. And you can make your presentations awesome. Thank you so much. If there's any question, you can ask it right now. Any questions? If you